Hey guys, day 89 around the world for free. We're here with Saha from the Red Cross at Mama Hani's Disabled Orphanage in Garissa, which is in the northeastern province of Kenya, right near the border. Today is the day. Off you go. So today marked the start of our big road trip through Kenya. We said goodbye to Martin at his place and met with Susan at the Red Cross to organize our transportation up here. We went with Muli, who is our driver, from Nairobi to Garissa. I can't believe it's finally happening. We're in our Red Cross vehicle on our way up to Garissa. The roads are paved all the way up there. It should be about six hours. So it was a complete change of scenery, leaving behind Nairobi and driving through the roads to get up here. It turned very barren, more deserty, very dry. This road just stretches on forever and there's nothing out here. We saw a herd of camels too and that was totally different. We haven't seen any camels so far. Stopped in the colorful little town of Mwangi. Awesome little town, thriving. People are outside enjoying themselves. Hi hanging out watching me. Um, pretty excited to be on our road trip and can't wait till we get there. We could tell that we were getting closer towards the Somali border because we were seeing these traditional Somali houses that are rounded huts covered in grass to keep cool. So Muli drove us through Garissa. Wow, such a difference a river makes. It's so much cooler. And we're cruising through the back streets and some of the markets and it was just completely mind-blowing. This is a total change for me. I've never been anywhere that has so much Muslim culture. So I guess now that we're closer to the Somali border, there's a lot more percentage of the population that are Muslim here. You can tell by the way that they're dressed. Is there a rule against smiling at Muslim guys? I mean, I don't know the rule really when it comes to interacting with Muslims. If I smile at a man, it's okay. Because I'm a smiler. So I don't wanna I don't wanna smile at someone and then they think that I wanna like go home with them. Just like culture shock for me. I mean seeing all of these women fully and completely covered and just their eyes are visible. We've gotten a couple of stare downs for the camera. They don't like very much. But because we're with the Red Cross, I guess it's a okay. So Muli drove us over to meet Saha. We completely crashed his meeting. We have a lot of congestion in the refugee camps. The camps that are there in place now are carrying four times the, you know, the quantities that they were supposed to carry. The communities here depend on the environment for their livelihood, especially for grazing and those, those other things. And uh, due to these enormous numbers, again, there is a lot of exhaustion, you know, of the environment itself. He came and showed us this project, which is one of the Red Cross's local projects here in Garissa. Basically, the Red Cross, you know, is a humanitarian organization. And Mama Honey takes care of uh, children who have no parents. Uh, some of them are either orphans, some of them have been street children. And this humanitarian initiative is very close to the Red Cross principles. been running this for the last 27 years. I am 76 <laughs> years old. Mama, how many kids do you have here? 62. 62? Yeah. Do you ever say no? You ever have too many kids? No, never. I never say no. How do you do it? God knows. God knows. Do you need eye drops? Yeah. Yeah, I have some. <laughs> Thank you very much. You could keep them. God bless you. <laughs> God bless you. Mm -hmm, yeah. <laughs> I do what I can. Yeah. That's my job. She can have them. I feel happy with the handicapped children. And I wish, when you go back, think of these desperate handicapped children. What you're doing here is completely amazing and inspiring. And we're happy. Thank you for bringing us here. And thank you for meeting with us and sharing your home with us. Thank you. So this is very cool. We're on our first leg of the journey in Garissa, hanging out with Mama Hani. But tomorrow we have an exciting day planned because Saha is hooking us up with some transportation up to Dadaab. One of my staff will join you up tomorrow. 
to take a few more scenes in the Redup complex. Awesome. This has been a goal of mine, a mission of mine for a very long time, so I'm really excited to finally be getting up there. And guys, just as a reminder, the new AT&T poll is up for this week, so go check that out and cast your vote. And send your messages in to cbs.com slash world. I'm glad that you guys are on board with this refugee mission because it's going to be intense. So thank you. We'll check in tomorrow. Welcome. Thank you. Yeah.